At least 20 teenagers and one adult were injured, two of them critically, yesterday morning at Franklin Regional High School in Murraysville, Pennsylvania, when a 16-year-old fellow student attacked them with two knives. Murraysville Police Chief Thomas Seafeld said during a press briefing that a sophomore identified as, as Alex Hribal stabbed students in one wing of the school during a five minute period. The boy reportedly used two straight knives measuring eight to ten inches. Not all of the students were cut or stabbed. Some were actually injured in the process of trying to get away from the alleged stabber. Some of them required immediate surgery. Seafeld said that the police had never received a call in the past about the suspect. They were still investigating the motive as of this morning. However, they are uh, they have charged the student with 21 counts of aggravated assault, one count of possessing a weapon on school property, and he is being charged as an adult. The incident started shortly after 7 a.m. Eastern time yesterday morning. Students were still arriving at school at the time, and authorities say that the first 911 call from the school was made at 713 a.m. Eventually, the incident came to an end when the school's assistant principal was able to subdue the student with help from others. My email inbox has been flooded by, as you can probably predict, two types of emails in response to this. To this. There, is, there is one group of emails which says we should be glad that this was two knives instead of a gun. Imagine a semi-automatic or automatic uh, a weapon in this case. And we would definitely have had or at least would have been much more likely to have uh, deaths in this case. The other side is from the gun advocates who say, no, no, no. If everybody in the school had been armed, if the vice principal had been armed, if the janitor had been armed, then this would have been able to uh, have been stopped before the 21 or 22 people were stabbed in the first place. I think most of the audience knows more or less how I feel about that uh, idea. I think that introducing guns, multiple guns into this would be incredibly problematic. And just imagine, let's say one person with a gun there does identify who the stabber is, is able to take the gun out and let's just assume only shoot the stabber, even though he's in a crowd of people stabbing them. How do we know that a second person with a gun isn't going to hear the gunshot run in and shoot the individual they see with the gun? And now you have innocent people getting shot and killed. I am open to, to hearing more from our audience about how more guns in this situation and more guns in general would have been good here. However, if we make guns easier to obtain, even if Alex Hribal was not legally able to obtain a gun. If there are more guns around, if his parents have guns. If there are generally more guns in the system, it is simply mathematically speaking easier for Alex himself to obtain a gun and show up and shoot people rather than stab them. And then I think the headline would be different than 22 stabbed, uh, nobody killed, right? I think it would be different. Email me about this. I know not everybody will agree.